Well, you got to hand it to Denny Hamlin. He doesn't mind playing the bad guy if it means catching a checkered flag. But racing at your home track, you expect a warm welcome nonetheless, right? Well, sports anchor Brian Smith tells us why that wasn't the case in Richmond tonight and the unlikely winner well-deserving of the limelight. Here's something you don't see every day on a NASCAR Cup scene as it shifted to Richmond. Area native Denny Hamlin showered with booze from his home track as they went racing this afternoon. Remember, he had that incident to pick up his 50th win over Kyle Larson in the five car. Early on, it was about the pole winner, Tyler Reddick, who dominated the first stage. At one point, he, the 11 car of Hamlin, and the 23 car of Bubba Wallace went 1-2-3 for Toyota. Reddick captured his fourth stage win of the year. Stage two saw Wallace jump back in front. This move at lap 137 slips him in front of Bubba McDowell, but Brad Keselowski in the six car would head to the lead and take stage two. The car driver and owner would settle for six. By the third stage, it was a battle for the lead between Martin Truex Jr. in the 19 and Keselowski's teammate Chris Buescher in the 17. Buescher would take the lead and hold off Hamlin, who took second. He'll get to enjoy the barbecue as a winner in the Cookout 400. You know, I knew it was going to be a, a tough fight with the 11 there, and, and he was very good today as well. And uh, I knew that was going to be it's going to be a tough one. But our, our fast one Mustang fired off so good that uh, I knew we had a, a good advantage to it. So uh, good situation for us. Good. Uh, Good way to pull it off. It's one of the hardest things about what we do is you can't control the heat. Uh, it, it's going to be there, and, and you just got to got to put up with it. Not only is it Bush's first win of the 2023 season, it's also his first in the state capital. It also automatically qualifies him for the playoffs. Brian Smith, 13 Sports, Richmond.